Welcome back to the Koi Works. This is the third in a series of videos on Koi Health. Uh, today we're going to be showing you how to apply uh, stitches or sutures to damaged fins, mouths, etc. Although at first this might seem a daunting task, it really is a fairly simple procedure. We're going to be attempting to show you this in two different ways. Uh, firstly, we're going to be using some material, uh, such as a towel or something like that, so you can practice on. And then we're going to actually be applying some sutures to some damaged fins on some cut. Uh, you'll need a couple of items to achieve this. Firstly, obviously, you're going to need some sutures. Um, you can actually obtain these from your local vet. Um, we tend to use a fine gauge needle, um, which tends to get the best results in fins. A too big a needle obviously will damage the fin and defeat the object. Um, I actually use a, a needle holder to, to stitch. You don't have to go to this expense. Uh, you can actually get away with a pair of tweezers. Or there, there is a cheaper version, which again is a needle holder, which actually clips together, which is quite useful. And um, all these things are, are readily available. And um, if we move on, we'll show you how to start doing some sutures. Right, we have our patient on the table who is anaesthetized, and we're ready to apply a stitch. Firstly, uh, push the needle through the thing coming out the other side, where you can see the point of the needle. Um, pull the needle through, leaving about two inches of thread remaining. Um, place the, the thread in your one hand, make a loop around the needle, pull the stitch through, which causes half a, a knot. Reverse around the needle holder, pull the thread again through the center, which creates a full knot. Um, reverse again around the needle which gives us a half a turn which actually prevents the, the stitch coming in down. Uh, just snip the two ends and there you go. Okay, we have um, a trag eye on the table with some damage. It's got some um, necrotic tissue on the tail here which we're going to attempt to trim off. Um, it's very important to actually trim in the right manner as this encourages the tail to grow back out to its proper shape. It's got a split all the way down uh, quite deep. There's a little bit of infection down here and it's damaged its mouth as well, which has got a slight split in the mouth, which we're going to attempt to put a couple of stitches in there. So, first off, uh, we'll just turn the fish slightly so you can see. Um, we're just going to trim this out in a nice, rounded fashion. Just continue over to that. And then this fin will go back. And regain its shape. Right, first of all, we're going to apply, before we apply any topical treatments or cleaners or anything like that, we're going to apply the stitches. It's also very important um, to have the fish well anaesthetized. Uh, when I'm doing work like this, I usually um, allow an extra 10 to 20 seconds in the anaesthesia to actually make sure the fish is. Um, very well sedated. Um, we're going to use two, two stitches on this, uh, one quite low down and then one closer to the surface. So just pop the, the needle through the one side of the fin, uh, pull it through until you leave again about two inches or so remaining. Just pull the thread aside Lift the tail, pop it through the other side, and pull the stitch through. We now have it going through both sides of the fin. You can actually turn the, the coil over, uh, regain our needle if you can find it. Like so. Again, you've got the end there, so create your loop, pull it through, create your knot. Again, reverse the loop, pull it tight, and then do a counterclockwise loop, which stops the fin or stops the stitch coming apart. There's our first stitch in place, like so. Put the needle through the other side.
position the needle. There we have it. So we pull it through to about the same length again. There we are, there's one. Reverse. And reverse again. And that's our tail stitched. Okay, so we'll just put a suture in the jaw. Again, leaving a thread to pull the loop through. Avoid the barbel. Just try and get another one in there. There we have it. Two stitches in the mouth and two in the tail. Uh, we can now apply our topical treatments. Uh, first of all, we'll clean the wound with some tea tree oil. Making sure you clean any sort of detritus or anything of that away from the wound, which will stop any secondary bacterial infections. And just clean the mouth up. Dry those areas off. For fins we generally use um, silver nitrate which has got great healing powers and it tends to cauterize the ends of the fins quite effectively. Okay, for the mouth then we use some iodine. And then a final sealer. For the fin, uh, we would use some um, uh, Friar's Balsam, which is a sticky antiseptic. Uh, tends to go very well with um, silver nitrate. You can see the silver nitrate there taking some effect. We have shown you how to apply uh, sutures to damage fins and mouth areas of fish, and maybe at some point in the future you will attempt these procedures yourselves. Um, as for the future uh, regarding sutures, um, there are new medical glues which come onto the marketplace every now and again, and we are very enthusiastic about a new glue which has um, come to our attention, which will, will be um, tried in very, very shortly. And this particular glue will adhere to wet surfaces, uh, will not damage fins in any way, shape or form, and can also be applied to ulcerated parts of the body to seal the epithelium. Um, hopefully uh, we will show you these procedures uh, in further videos. Uh, thank you for joining us and see you on our next video. Bye for now.